Before we get into today's video, make sure you go check out Goat Plugged Official on Instagram for fast and easy badges and stacked NBA 2K20 accounts. They are 100% legit. Link will be in the description. Yo, what's up, AJC here. In today's video, we're going to be going through whether Hot Zone Hunter is still worth it after the latest patch and whether you should be spending your badge points somewhere else. Okay, so we did some tests, guys. As we all know, you know, Hot Zone Hunter has been patched, it's been nerfed, and then it's been buffed again. And now each game mode has its own Hot Zone. So you got to play all three modes, four modes, in order to get your hot zone so it's completely confused everyone so i'm gonna sum it up in today's video and show you whether you still need this badge and whether it's still as overpowered as it was at the start of nba 2k20 okay so before we get into today's video guys first off mean the world if you could just like this video it only takes two seconds and secondly if you do want to shout out in the next video all you can do is comment down below in this video guys let's just make it hot zone all right comment out down below and you can be the running to win a shout out in the next video so let's start off guys what is the definition of hot zone hunter hot zone hunter boosts the shot percentage for attempts taken in a player's favorite spots shots that are taken in hot zones are basically given a boost okay so if you shoot in hot zones guys when you do get them you're actually going to be given a boost um and you really do get a boost without the hot zone hunter badge but this even boosts it up even more okay which is really good to see so i decided to test this out guys and we know you know nba 2k labs they've done tests on it however they use controllers they use ones that you know release it at a certain time and things like that so i thought i'd shoot normally in the my court and give you you know what it's actually like playing in the park with hot zone hunter playing in my court um you know with the difficulty of trying to time every jump shot right blah 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 so we went to my court guys we shot 50 shots in a hot zone with badge and without the badge and this is what we found guys so this is just the background footage guys it's not actually the real footage but we found that guys with no badge i hit 32 out of 50 which is around 60 percent and with the hall of fame badge guys i hit 41 out of 50 yes this is absolutely insane guys we have what a 20 percent uh, increase when it goes from no badge to hall of fame i'm telling you it just felt super easy to green on hall of fame there was no doubt about it okay it wasn't just me getting shots in on full whites or anything like that what we did find guys is i was just able to green it every single time and i had no trouble um greening as well so i used uh my th uh my two-way uh three-point facilitator which is roughly around 75 uh open three okay so i try to keep everything the same use the same build same jump shot everything like that okay so then we took the the research even further guys because we want to go with cold zones okay you do get cold zones at times sometimes you're goofing around with your friends and you shoot from cold zones so i want to see if shooting from gold zones does this even boost your shot even with hot zone hunter guys so with no badge guys we got 26 out of 50 it wasn't that bad but i did feel it was a struggle hitting it when we went to hall of fame guys we hit 38 out of 50 okay that's pretty much the same as 41 out of 50 guys that i hit um shooting in hot zones and i felt like there was absolutely no difference between the two um when it came to shooting in a cold zone and shooting in a hot zone okay so it's safe to say guys i honestly did feel it where you know you actually do get a boost in cold zones and maybe the cold zones doesn't affect you as much as it should okay um and in all honesty guys that was honestly great to see uh because you know it's it's safe to say that you know hot zone hunter doesn't only work in hot zones but it may work for cold zones um and, and everything even more okay so like i said guys there's all research that i've done myself i decided to shoot with it in the park uh in my court sorry and we took it even further okay now we're gonna work on full whites okay Full whites, as we all know, it's hard to hit, okay? You don't really hit it often. You have to try to green it in order to hit every single shot, okay? So we show from a hot zone, guys, shooting, try to shoot full whites every single time. We got 14 out of 50, guys, with the no badge, okay? With Hall of Fame, guys, we're able to hit 19 out of 50, okay? Which is pretty good. Now, I don't say it's such a significant difference, um, but hitting 19 out of 50 rather than 14 out of 50. So that's around 40% on Hall of Fame and it's around 30% on no badge. That's actually a pretty good increase. Okay. I would take that. Obviously you try to green, you pretty much green it every single time a hot zone hunter guys. It does feel easier, but if you accidentally shoot a full white, you got an extra 10%, 15% increase of you actually hitting that shot on a full white. And you know, maybe it was your problem of, of stuffing up the jump shot, but that's honestly great to see guys. It's great to see the, the results of that and NBA, 2k labs actually you know they did their uh, research on it and they found out guys that they ra rated hot zone hunter to be a, an a tier badge a s tier badge sorry I, I don't know how tiers work okay so they rated it to be an s tier badge which is basically the highest form um even to this patch of everything okay now the reason why it's not as overpowered as it was before if you guys didn't know you could get your hot zones in my career and it could relate um, into park so pretty much every single zone you have is a hot zone okay so you would just be greening everywhere so i think they changed that but now we moved on to moving shots and see how we went 
Okay, now moving shots, guys, it's not really my forte. I didn't really, I'm not really good at it. I did put Hall of Fame difficult shots on both of them um, just to make it fair. Um, but I, I, I'm honestly just not good at it. So maybe I could use the help of Hot Zone Hunter in order to hit these shots. So with no badge, guys, I was able to hit 22 out of 50. I know, I know, guys, it's terrible, okay? I don't know how to fade away. And Hall of Fame, guys, I was able to hit 25 out of 50, okay? The reason why it's orange, because in all honesty, guys, I think there is not as much of a significant difference, or maybe I'm just really bad at the game, okay? It's one of the two. But when it comes to you shooting um, in these zones, guys, it'll be more easier to green on a, on a catch and shoot and everything like that, or, you know, dr off a dribble than shooting off a fadeaway, all right? That's where you mostly feel the difference, okay? So I didn't really take that into account. I still decided to show you that footage just in case you know you guys want to know it, it may do like it still does give you the boost guys but for me when i was just playing around in my court it was very tough to still get the shot up and be able to green so i feel like the easiest ways to green with hot zone hunter are in the catch and shoot and dribble scenarios okay so 2k lab studies this okay they did 65 um rating with no badge okay so we see guys from this graph just if you need help reading it so outside the green window 20 percent make percentage early edge of the green window guys we see it's only um of 35 yeah 40 percent and then center green window guys goes up to 80 60 i'm um, sorry 60 and then edge goes back down to 40 whatever like that however when we move over to 65 rating with a hall of fame guys we see that the edge of the green window on both sides have both increased to 55 percent okay which means that you can pretty much green any single side of that edge of the green window green center of green window and the edge of green window again which basically means guys which is why i'm saying that a lot of things that are happening with this is that it's easier to green because the edge of the green windows are more like you can green it easier in those moments okay which is really really good to see now taking it even further guys they did this study so they said edge of the green window make percentage as we said it went up from non 38 percent all the way to hall of fame to 62 percent and this is only 65 three point rating okay this this isn't you know your sharpshooters um that are going like you know 99 this is just a normal 65 rating but now they did 85 guys and you see a no badge goes from 80 uh, 52 all the way to a 72 guys 72 percent of you possibly hitting it in the edge of the green windows that is absolutely insane all right that's not taking into account when you green it just perfectly guys that is just the edge of the green windows which is why i say using hot zone hunter will make you green so much easier um and it's honestly just it's honestly indescribable guys i'm telling you how easy it is to green with this no matter whether you're a big man or anything like that okay so let's talk about how do you get your hot zones where does it come from from. so let's talk about that right now because i know i said each game mode so you see here guys if we go to park mode which is most of it you go under the basket guys you need a minimum of 30 field goal attempts 75 percent or higher uh to shoot under the basket a cold will be 60 percent or lower close range as we see 65 percent or higher 50 percent or lower uh, for 10 field goals and then uh mid range yeah mid range is 15 uh field goal attempts it needs to be 60 percent higher to be a hot zone and a 45 percent or lower to be a cold shot and then park and then when it comes to three point range guys 10 uh 10 field goals then it'll have to be um what do you call it they'll have to be 55 percent and then 35 percent lower um in that case so guys that is honestly how you do it if you want to pause it during that chart you can look at pro-am you know nba and things like that um but i just read out park because a lot of people like to just use this to play park and everything like that um but when it comes to it guys i still do think hot zone hunter is a really really good badge it's still a must-have badge i know it is a bit harder to get your hot zones but once you find these hot zones guys Guys, I'm telling you it's game over you're gonna be greeting it every single time okay try to max this uh, badge out no matter what build you you are on I'd really do suggest it guys even if you only got eight seven nine badges something like that I'd suggest you know if you can get a quick draw range extender hot zone hunter and then maybe get like catch and shoot on bronze or something like that okay but in order for you to get the hot zones guys you still need to be able to hit these shots um, in order to make it become your hot zone so I do suggest guys have your catch and shoot on have corner specialist um, those two are my main badges in order for you to really get your hot zones fast enough and then you know it, it's a breeze from there once you have your hot zones okay I think they reset every 30 games so trust me guys 30 games is a lot that's you know more than one session um you know if you are playing 2k just for fun and things like that so it's still a must have got badge guys i suggest you put it on max it out if you can even if you're a big man even if you're a guard because i'm telling you you're going to be able to hit so much more shots very effectively with this badge on okay so hope this video did help you guys i did do my own research and try to give you more of a park field gameplay when it came to you know doing these tests i know a lot of the tests they do like 2k labs hey i think it's a really really good thing but like i said guys they do do like you know modded controllers that when you hit it it really 
releases at a certain time so obviously not everyone's shooting like that okay not everyone's shooting like that everyone shoots at their own pace sometimes you might release it too slow sometimes you might release it too fast there's there's those types of factors that you have to account for so i thought i'd give you that type of research and that type of uh results with this type of uh test that i've done in today's video okay so hope you did enjoy guys just want to say thank you so much for watching hope you have a great rest of the day but we'll get to the shout outs because i'm not even waiting for it so quick shout out to nihao 21 iso the god j mitch cj monger corey xavier goat noel yusuf jojo b miles bowler alex l and Luke Wingard for coming my last video. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate you all. Guys, I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you did enjoy it. We are literally this close to 40K. I don't even know what's happening, okay? I swear a week ago we were on 36K and now we're about to hit 40. Honestly, guys, thank you all so, so much. You have been loving the videos of the badges and everything like that. So I will continue to do them for you if that's what you guys want to see. But we do have some entertaining videos coming through as well. So I might sneak those in every now and then uh, if you guys are feeling those types of videos. So besides that, just want to say, hope you guys are staying safe during this quarantine season. You know, stay safe out there, guys. Um, try to have fun in your household, you know, spend time with family, everything like that. And I hope to see you guys soon. All right, peace.